What happened with Jason Tatum is what he did to Kevin Durant in the first round. He got punked. Andrew Wiggins mm -hmm. took, snatched his soul mm. in this series. And you know what? It's part of the reason on why you should be careful who you train with in the offseason. Mm. Listen, mm. both of those guys mm. went through the same trainer uh -oh. at one period of time. Andrew Wiggins uh -oh. was training with the same guy that trains uh -oh. Jason Tatum at this moment. So guess what happens? He knows his tendencies. Uh -oh. He's able to sit on his moves. He's able to block his shots. He's able to defend them well. This is what happens when you become so friendly that you want to work out with people in the offseason. But I will say this. The Celtics took for granted a golden opportunity last night. And I keep, they kept saying, oh, this is a learning experience. Well, I was on a young Oklahoma City Thunder team. Well, we thought that it was a learning experience. And guess what? Only one of those guys in Kevin Durant made it back to the finals with the mm -hmm. exception of me, but I didn't play a role. See, Jason Tatum last night in this series, he had an opportunity to be a Kevin Durant at the age of 23 when he averaged 30 on 55% shooting. Mm -hmm. Or he had the opportunity to be who he was, a James Harden, when he got to the finals with the Oklahoma City Thunder. Mm -hmm. A guy that completely vanished and completely fell and it shied hurt. away from the moment. Oh, no. have, you ever, have, you, have you ever pressed an app on your iPhone and you wait for it, you're like, come on, man, I pressed the app like four minutes ago, and then all of a sudden, after you press it, like four minutes later, it goes, dude, it goes everywhere. You're like, well, that, I almost feel like that's the way Jason Tatum was processing things last night. Like, he would turn face, and the move would be there for him to go, but yet he would wait and then jab step. It was like he was overthinking things. Now, look, I, I, I firmly believe that Jason Tatum will be better for this overall, but like, I, what I've seen, from, what I've saw from the Boston Celtics the last two games was just, it, it was a major, major disappointment because they, they were slow at processing everything. Everything. Look, the beauty of, of a morning like this is that we can go wherever we choose. This isn't where we plan to be, but it's a perfectly good place to be. Monica, let's go there. Okay. How about Tatum, who had a nightmare of a series? Okay, so I just want to offer up this one statistic, Jay. And not that it's an excuse, because at this point, everybody is tired, everybody's a little bit banged up. But going into game six, he and Jalen Brown had played approximately 200 more minutes than any Golden State Warriors player. So I think fatigue was real no. in terms of, listen, in terms of depth that you can trust, I do think fatigue was real. Now, for Jason to be someone who is so vocal about Kobe Bryant being his idol, the mama mentality is no excuses. Mm. It is not, those last two games are not the first time we saw the Celtics sort of settle for bad shots and the ball tends to stick and it doesn't move anymore. It's something that they kind of dealt with throughout the entire series. The last two games, it was just glaring. They were able to skirt it a little bit. Obviously, game one was terrific. They dealt with it the entire what? season. Uh, Wendy, let me get everybody in here. Wendy, this is a team that was 29th out of 30 teams in the league in clutch situations, which are defined as a game that is within five points in the final five minutes. This was nothing new, their struggles late in games. But for Tatum in particular, uh, this is one he's going to have to wear. He's got a long, wonderful career ahead of him and plenty of opportunity to rewrite the story. But I think, uh, Wendy, it's going to be a long summer. He was tired. He was tired. I know that that's if you're not allowed to say that you were tired. He was just completely gassed. Oh. Um, they played back to back seven game series leading into this. Um, they, you know, he I think I saw something that he had run 10 more miles in the postseason than Steph Curry had. Um, they were relying on him to do so much and he just ran out of gas. You could see it at the end of game five when he just he, he was shooting air balls and you could see it last night. He didn't have the energy to to overcome what was in front of him. And that's, you know, you can you can say it's some sort of flaw, but it's just reality. And Wiggins got stronger. He was one of the players that got stronger. Yeah, game four in this series, Steph Curry, he this this Celtics team was so resilient. One of the more resilient teams I've ever covered as I watched them go through this process. But Steph broke them. Uh, with that game four performance. I, I didn't think this was a team that could break, but he broke them. And the, and the Warriors got stronger and the Celtics got weaker, and, and Tatum was a personification of that. Wendy, right, you as, see, uh, go ahead, Jay Will. Final thought. I was going to say, Wendy, as an athlete, I live by this mantra, no damn excuses. And here's why I will say about Jason Tatum being tired. And same with Jalen Brown. You know, in the first multiple possessions of the game, guess where the Celtics had a major advantage? They took all those little dudes with that small lineup and they put them on the block. I wish the Celtics had a maestro, and that's what Marcus Smart should have been, that says, let's continue to play to our strengths instead of playing inside 
right? Focusing on inside and then making yeah. shots later instead of playing outside in. Like they tried to mirror Golden State. You're going to lose when you try to outscore Golden State from the perimeter. You're going to lose every it, time. It, 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 I, I don't want to hear anything about being tired. You know why? Because even when they won the Eastern Conference Finals, we heard Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum saying, oh, they said we couldn't do it together. Well, the mission wasn't complete. And by the way, I remember, a, what, a 35 or 36-year-old LeBron James in year, what, 17, leading the team all the way to a championship? So, listen, I don't want to hear about being tired. Ooh, use the it's about who wanted the most. Standard. Sure. It's about who wanted the most. I have to let Jay Will go back to KJM Radio on ESPN Radio. Thank do you. You, as always, do you? my man. Do you? I don't know. I like this conversation <laughs> on, right God. here, Brady. <laughs> That's well done. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.